Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. Beatrice Pryor, who is 16 years old, lives in a dystopian, future Chicago where most people are put into one of five groups. Those who don't belong to one of these groups are called, factionless, and are sent to the edge of civilization. At the beginning of the story, Beatrice is getting ready for the aptitude tests that will tell her if she is an abnegation, amity, candor, dauntless, or erudite. Caleb, her brother, is also having trouble. The aptitude tests are a series of simulations that help decide which faction a young initiate should join. Tori gives Beatrice her test, and she gets a divergent score. Divergents live in Beatrice's world in fear of being found out and killed. At the ceremony of choosing, Beatrice chooses Dauntless, and Caleb says he wants to be erudite. Andrew, Beatrice's dad, is very upset, but Natalie, Beatrice's mom, is happy with what her kids have done. After the choosing ceremony, Beatrice rides the train to Dauntless headquarters with the other initiates. There, she starts over again as Triss. Will, Christina, and Al are the people she trusts the most. At the start of the process of becoming a recruit, they are split into two groups. The Dauntless born answers to Lauren at first, but then answers to four. Eric is in charge of all the trainers. He is a cocky bully who thinks that being cruelly mean is the same as being brave. He tells everyone that the process of becoming an initiate will have three stages and that initiates will be ranked based on what they have done. Those who don't make it into the top ten will be called, factionless. Hand-to-hand -hand fighting is the first part of the initiation process. Four gets the recruits ready by teaching them how to use weapons and defend themselves. This is a hard stage for Triss because she is small and easy to hit. Molly, Peter, and Drew are the people who bother Triss the most, both inside and outside of the ring. During the knife-throwing exercise, Triss stands up for Al, even though she has been through a lot herself. For the second part of the initiation, the recruits are given an injection of a serum that makes scary mental simulations. For initiates to get out of the simulations, they have to will their breathing and heart rates to stay steady. Triss, on the other hand, shows Four that she can get out of her simulations faster than anyone else. Four figures out that Triss is divergent in the end, and he tells her not to tell anyone her secret. Triss comes in first because of her many different skills. Al comes in last, which makes him feel bad, so he joins Peter and Drew in attacking Triss. Four is the one who saves Triss from her attackers. Al tries to apologize to Triss later, but she doesn't let him. Al kills himself because he is sad. Triss feels bad about what she did, but Four tells her that even worse things are coming. In the meantime, Triss starts to feel attracted to Four. Before stage three starts, Four lets Triss see what makes him afraid. The fear landscape is the hardest of the three stages, and each initiate has a different landscape. Inside Four's world, Triss finds out that Marcus Eaton is one of his four fears. Triss figures out that Four is really Tobias Eaton, the son of Marcus Eaton, who is one of the leaders of the Abnegation Council. After the shared experience, Four tells Triss that he likes her, and the two of them start dating. But their new friendship is put to the test when Triss freaks out during a fear landscape exercise and leaves the simulation suddenly. Four then makes Triss look bad in front of everyone by yelling at her. Triss goes to Erudite's main office because she is angry. There, she gets emotional when she sees Caleb again, but their conversation is tense. Before Triss leaves, she is taken to Janine Matthews, who works for Erudite and questioned by her. Janine tries to find out Triss's secret by asking her about her divergence, but she fails. When she comes back, Four tells her in a scary way that he has seen Erudite's plans to go to war with abnegation. Triss passes her fear landscape test on initiation day and gets the top spot. Later, while she was kissing Four, Triss had a sudden realization. Erudite's plan to use a dauntless army against the abnegation will be made easier by a serum that makes people act like they are in a simulation. Triss remembers that new members of the dauntless were given this serum on initiation day. That night, dauntless soldiers wake up in a daze and walk to the pit to get weapons. The soldiers then take the train to the abnegation sector and start killing civilians there. Tobias finds Triss on the train and grabs her hand, letting her know that he has changed. When Eric tries to kill Tobias, Triss shoots him in the foot to stop him. This forces the two to give up their plan. Triss and Tobias are taken to Janine, and she gives Tobias an injection of a serum made just for divergence. Then, Janine locks Tobias in the control room so she can watch the simulation program. A soldier then knocks Triss out. Triss wakes up in a tank that is slowly filling with water. She gets ready to die but her mother comes and saves her. 
Natalie and Triss are able to get out of the abnegation compound, but on their way out, Natalie is shot and killed. At the abnegation hideout, Triss meets up with her father, Andrew, and her brother, Caleb. There, Triss argues very strongly that the computers running the simulation program should be destroyed. Triss, Caleb, Andrew, and Marcus get on the train to go to the Dauntless headquarters after a lot of talking. Peter waits for them there, but Triss is able to beat him. In the end, Peter agrees to tell them where the control room is in exchange for staying safe. Triss tells Peter, Marcus, and Caleb to stay behind as lookouts on the ground floor of the glass building while she and Andrew go to the control room on the eighth floor. As Triss and her father get off the elevator on the eighth floor, guards shoot at them. During the gunfight, Andrew dies. Triss goes to the room where the controls are. There, she fights Tobias, who eventually comes to and ends the simulation by waking up from his sleep. Before he leaves, Tobias gets the hard drive from the computer and gives it to Triss. Triss looks at the hard drive on the train to Amity, and it worries her that Marcus is also interested in it. Triss feels a pang as she realizes that her life is about to get harder and that she doesn't know what will happen next. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.